If the public wants to access any particular information about their house or their neighborhood or the city, we point them to GIS. GIS is a combination of maps and data. It's not simply a graphic that you'd see on a screen or on a map. Uh, underneath it is attribute information. You can get the traffic counts for a particular street. You can get the assessed value for a particular parcel. You can get the number of crimes for a particular police district for a certain period of time. It's the idea of combining these different layers of information and then sort of stacking them on top of each other to present to the public. Other types of GIS people are most familiar with are probably web-based uh, mapping systems, often seen such as Google Earth, Yahoo Maps, MapQuest, Microsoft Virtual Earth. Uh, those are all examples of online mapping systems that can be used to find businesses or get driving directions, check on traffic conditions, uh, essentially all digital maps. GIS is used in the city of San Francisco to better support what departments do, what their business needs are. You can imagine all the various elements of a city, including parcels for all the properties, all the critical infrastructure, such as where the storm drains are, where the water mains run, all the city assets like the traffic lights and fire hydrants. Anything that you can uh, represent in a geographic space can be stored in a geographic information system for retrieval and analysis. In the Department of Public Works, they have to manage and maintain what goes on in the right of way. Somebody's looking to dig up the street to put in a pipe or access the conduit down there. They have to apply for a permit. At the Bureau of Street Use and Mapping, the counter person can actually click on the map Click on the uh, street segment itself and up will come attribute information that can help them make a better decision. The public GIS applications uh, currently available are SF Parcel, which is the assessor's application. You can go to the assessor's website and click on the SF Parcel application and bring up a map of San Francisco. You can search by address or you can search by block and lot and get assessor information about your parcel as well as uh, any parcel in the city of San Francisco. Another application would be the crime maps application where you can search by any address and find the incidence of crime in San Francisco within the last 90 days. We also have a more general application called SF Viewer which allows you to click on the map and drill down and get various information such as your supervisor or your assembly person or who your BART supervisor is, the nearest public facility. And also through our SF Fine application that we support for the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Services, you can basically do the same thing and sort of drill down into your neighborhood and get where the nearest hospital is, what's the nearest police station, fire station, etc. Feedback has been very positive about GIS because not only do people access it here in our office, but they can also access it from home because we have it available on the internet. What used to happen is that people would look at large maps and then carry these huge books to be able to find their block and lot. And they had took a long time to find the information. Now they just look at it from the ease of their home. It really saves the city time and money because you're not taking up the time of a particular employee at uh, the assessor's office who might be actually doing things a little bit more efficiently on their, on their own end. What we're finding is that people are coming to us already with just information that normally would have taken us a long time. They have it ready to go and just say, this is what I want, and then we can just easily give it to them. We're also finding the same thing happening on the phones, where people just call in and they ask, how do I find this information? We tell them, go to this website. They go to it, and then they get the information easily. As some old story goes, a picture tells a thousand stories. Some people say a, a map tells even more.